Hey, hello everybody, welcome to another audio commentary here, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my last commentary, which was a, a Duke commentary with Trompesque, and it was really funny, <laughs> really, really uh, good games, and I found a way to compile those videos, and that I, I think, um, I think I'm pretty good at compiling videos by now, I've done it for a year, more than a year, and I've compiled, like, what, how many videos on my account? Plus a few I haven't uploaded uh, for various reasons. Maybe it's not quality is not good enough, or even the game is not funny enough. Anyway, this is gonna be human versus undead um, for this game, and it's gonna be between see Camper, who is a very good human. He um, one of the top European humans actually, actually, and he's gonna face against Shy Dai. Okay, all right, fast DK build from the from the undead, and he's going to get a six acolyte. Which means you're gonna get out, um, just a standard fast, uh, standard ghoul, fast, fast hero ghoul build. Maybe he has a look. He's, this this all could also could be the build order for the nine minute fiends. I'm um, not <laughs> nine minute uh, destroyer build versus the human. And uh, he hasn't seen the and then hasn't seen the human pe peasant from from the uh, proxy yet. So he he knows that the human is out there, and humans suspecting the same thing. I believe. I think human's gonna pick up an archmage, just a very like almost, <laughs> almost a standard versus undead human hero. Sometimes you see mountain king. Um, if you go mountain king, you just tell the undead you're going to go for tier three, um, nice and uh, nice and uh, griffin or even just griffin build, mass air build. So that's a giveaway if you pick a mountain king. But uh, am you never know. But um, but this map is really not uh, expanding friendly, so you, I don't know how to call it. Um, anyway, it looks like the undead is going to get a really fast hero out, and we're going to see the AM. Oh, I forgot to turn on the game sound. All right, sorry about that. Now we have game sound. Uh, <laughs> I forgot to record the system sound because I just got gotten. Um, I, I just got finished. Uh, recording the dual commentaries. So I haven't. I wasn't recording the sound back then. Any, uh, here comes the DK and the farm. Just spotted the DK incoming, and let's see. It. Oh, I don't think any creep jack. Was, no, no creep jack from the Akali. Akali is going to be spared with one HP. Oh, that just luck. I don't care what you are. That just luck. And looks like the <laughs> skeletons are going to just do some harassment. I think it was the yeah. DK got a level one total creep jack. And uh, DK is gonna have to. I'm sorry, the AM is gonna have to play a little cute stay away, little tag versus the DK. Oh, oh DK is oh, almost gets surrounded, and it is surrounded. <laughs> oh man! And let's see if DK can fight his way out of this AM. He used a coil, and he, he has to use another coil. And footman right there. And, oh, nice, but uh, wasn't enough. Let's see if the DK is going to get the AM kill. AM is going to have to get macro around, and uh, skeleton can chase down the AM. I don't know why. What the hell, skeleton is doing? I think DK is gonna have enough mana here in a little bit. Uh, 75 mana for a coil, and one coil is right now is gonna kill the AM. AM is really needs to use this footman to be the to be the, the just the only thing standing between the AM and the DK. And skeleton gets whacked the uh, wax on the AM for a little second and gives the DK the information that AM ha is really vulnerable. AM is gonna have to play really hide and seek versus the DK. And the acolyte is gonna do some blocking with the one HP acolyte and. <laughs> <laughs> HP Akalai was spared earlier is going to do the blocking sufficient enough blocking to get the AM kill. Oh my god. <laughs> That's good. Oh, DK gets too cocky. He's going to get surrounded. And he's probably have to TP out of here. Um, or he's going to die. I think he's going to die. So uh, yeah, that's a good call because you you don't feed any experience to uh, to the your opponent because your, your opponent doesn't have a hero. And you get the uh, full HP, H DK, and uh, and uh, with a hundred mana fresh out of the altar. Also, you can pick up a <laughs> also you can pick up a skeleton staff right there. So I really agree with that hero death, even though it was it's gonna set the creeping the hero leveling back a little bit. But it's only the one level one hero so he's gonna come out really real quick. Um, four, let's see, three ghouls on lumber, so we're not going to see nine minute. Uh, Destroyer, unless there there's it's still possibility if the <laughs> if the uh, if the undead attack straight to tier three without picking up a lich, and let's see if he does that. Oh, he's gonna throw down third ziggurat, so uh, this is not going to be a nine minute uh, destroyer build. 
Although not my destroyer build is really effective versus an AM though. Completely neutralizes the AM. Let's see, oh the turtles are going to kill a turtle. Oh okay, okay well, never mind. DK was doing the Okay, never mind. DK was out. So DK hits level two when the AM hits level two. So that's what exactly the timing you want to be. Just to be even with the heroes levels with a human while you're playing undead. And now Undead is going to get the tier 2 out, let's see what he's going to do with it. He's going to do nothing, and I think he's waiting on the ziggurat, I think he's might be a food block, yeah he is food blocked. He's going to get a slaughterhouse, and he barely has enough resources to get to tier 3, let's see if he goes straight for it. Although the ziggurat is going to finish, so I don't know if he's going to get it, no he got, oh he got burrow. He just have, he just about to have enough resources to get to, get to tier 2. He's not spending any money. I think he's focusing on this creeping. He could have uh, uh, do. Um, still not spending any money. I think now he has no money for re for hero. He's not using it either. Um, there comes a the, the human's gonna try to creep jack him. One skeleton's gonna get picked off. <laughs> and the human just doesn't have a unit composition to deal with this undead army yet. Um, yeah, just spent a bunch of money on something on a on a lich. Looks like the uh, we are we are now going to see a Nemini destroyer from the f from the undead, and uh, looks like the human is going to do some creep jacking here. Let's see who's going to get this creep hero kill. Both both. Oh good god! I think the human got the hero kill and the item, so <laughs> the DK did all that work. All the undead units did all the work for nothing. Uh, very ghost cool, so, uh, creep jacking there by the AM. Anyway. Now we're going to see the Lich is going to be out, so AM is going to have to play keep away until the Mountain King comes out. Both heroes, AM and, I'm sorry, the Mountain King and the Lich are going are just mid-game, um, what I call mid-game uh, map control heroes, <laughs> they, just like the, just like the uh, Shadowhunter. Uh, once you get that hero, you can have a map control for the next about 5 minutes. You can creep freely and nobody's going to want to creep jack you for the next 5 minutes. That's the map mid game map control hero I was talking about. Uh, Shadow Hunter the same way, and um, I don't think Night Elf has that kind of hero. Maybe Keeper of the Grove, but Keeper of the Grove is very barely used <laughs> because everything he does it can be easily countered by any dispel unit. Here's a Nova and a Coil on the AM. AM somehow avoid that Coil. I don't know what that ha what happened there. Uh, anyway, another Nova and Coil is going to be on the way. And DK is going to probably get killed by the creep, pop the portion less in reliability. AM is going to have to TP out because he doesn't want to get coiled and die. Um, that's going to set him back a lot. And DK is going to have to do some dodging. AM, oh, I'm sorry there. The Lich is going to have to do some uh, dark ritualing. And um, oh man, the undead barely survived that little creep jack. I wonder how the human managed to creep jack the undead being at both shops while the, <laughs> while the undead is creeping, trying to creep at any, either shop. And boost the speed. Is gonna be for oh it looks like undead the okay, undead got the water ward at the other shop and AM got the item, I think that's what happened and boost of speed is gonna be for undead I think at this point I will sell that boost of speed, let's see if he does it uh, no he's gonna he's gonna pass the boost of speed to the lich, lich is gonna get to level uh, level two, a humans gonna come creep jacking from behind now the <laughs> nice. Uh, uh, burrow just f oh a fiend was burrowed it wasn't TP let's see ah oh, the fiend is gonna be taken down oh god at one why in the hell the water how the hell he see that fiend I have no idea how did he can perceive that fiend did he have dust no he didn't have dust this water ward belongs to the undead so I, I don't see how the hell he could have seen that fiend if you if you know the answer, please tell me. Uh, this might be a little creep map hacking by this <laughs> by this human. That's gonna be embarrassing at the pro level. Map hack map hacking at the pro level. I, I don't doesn't look like it from the from the fog of war standpoint standpoint. But there's there are ways you can creep jack and doesn't show up on replay. Uh, anyway, let's see. We're gonna see uh, tier three from undead and no orb on the lich. I wonder if that's a mistake. Maybe he's waiting on money. Yeah, he, the undead doesn't have any money to gra grab any orb. Looks like he, DK is going to chug potion less, less uh, tr potion of uh, invisibility. And let's see if hum if human was truly map hacking, he would should have turned around and freaking poke the DK. But that would be too obvious. And Lich almost gets to level three and gets creep jacked again. And let's see where where the where the hell is DK? Okay, he's going to pick up a Dark Ranger or something. Um. Okay. Okay. <laughs> DK is going to go back to uh, rendezvous with his troops, and we're going to see destroyers here soon. Uh, he's being researched. 
looks like the human has to back away when we all still still stay in tier two. 